one of our goals, and it's the main goal, is our ability to provide the optimal care to the injured patient, no matter how challenging the circumstances is. We handle every challenge that is presented. There are no exceptions. A trauma center does not exist by itself. It has to exist in the part of a trauma system, and therefore, this, the trauma center has a very important responsibility to make sure that that system works. That uh, patient, as their injuries get more complex, get referred up all the way up to the number one trauma center where those injuries can be taken care of definitively. Every little time counts in order for us to answer those challenges. And that doesn't just come every day. It doesn't come by wishfully thinking that I'm going to be committed to this patient. Well, that's not good enough. It is do you have the actual training? Do you have the actual education? And do you have the backup? Is there a system behind you that you can actually say, I'm committed and I'm doing it. And that's the only way we could do it. The level one trauma center cannot do it alone. You have to be heavily engaged in the community. It's, it's the basis of the entire trauma system, how to prevent our injuries. And I submit to you, no one understands this better than the people who are actually touching the injuries, are involved, seeing their consequences, so this is an incredible commitment that VCU has. I think we're a model in this country. It's a hospital that says we are committed to the region. We are committed to put all these resources to provide the best capabilities. And that's what the designation is, that we are the level one trauma center. We feel this responsibility to the region, and this is what we have done to prepare ourselves. And outside agencies will take a look and just say, are you guys doing what you're saying you're doing? The thing is, with us, we're doing that every day, whether anybody comes in or not. We have to be excellent at what we do here, and we are.